Algebra is exciting because there's so many layers to it. Today we are working with order of operations. It simply means in a single expression, we're going to have more than one operation that we're solving for. So a long time ago, mathematicians discovered that the order that you actually solve a problem changes the answer you get. So notice, I have 18 plus 11 times 6. Well, I have both addition and multiplication. Well, if I were the first mathematician, I decided to do addition first. And if we do 18 plus 11, we get 29. And 29 times 6 is 174. Absolutely correct. The second mathematician, though, changed the order that he or she was solving the problem. And we took the same problem, 18 plus 11 times 6, but this mathematician decided to do the multiplication first. 11 times 6 is 66. 66 plus 18 is 84. Problem, we have two different answers to the same expression. One of these had to be correct. So what mathematicians decided? Well, we better figure out an order that everyone in the world is going to agree that they're going to use in order to solve math problems. And the order that they just decided is that they would do parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication or division. It just depended left to right. If I had multiplication first and division second, I would do multiplication first. If I had division first and multiplication second, I would do my division first. It just depended on what came first, going left to right. And then the last step would always be your addition or subtraction, always solved again, left to right. So if addition came before subtraction, I would do addition first. If subtraction came before addition, I do subtraction first. Now, one way lots of kids have learned how to remember this order is to use please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P stands for parentheses, E is the exponents, M and D are my multiplication and division, A and S are my addition and subtraction. Now, we know algebra gets a lot more complicated, and so we have more grouping symbols than just parentheses. So I like to use a different saying. I use something called gems, and the only difference with it, it's the G. The G stands for grouping symbols. Now, what kind of grouping symbols can we have? Well, definitely we can have parentheses, but we can also have brackets, we can have the division bar, and we can have something called absolute value. And if you ever see any of those symbols, you always have to do them first. So. I've replaced, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, with gems just so we can account for all the other symbols. Now, what if you have multiple symbols? How do you go about solving the order of operations? Well, if I have brackets and parentheses, I go inside my brackets and then I have to follow my order of operations again. So inside my brackets, I see addition, I see multiplication. There's no sign symbol there though. Remember that we don't use a multiplication symbol in algebra. I have my parentheses and I have my subtraction. So I have a whole bunch of operations there. Well, I start inside my brackets, but then I have to start inside my parentheses because I have to do my grouping symbols first. So I would do 12 minus 7 first and I get 5. Now notice I only solve one thing per line. I keep everything else the same and I always use an arrow pointing to the one thing that I solve and that's what I would like you guys to do. So now I'm still inside my brackets but I have an addition and multiplication. Well, what has to come first? Well, multiplication has to come first. So I'm going to do 3 times 5. I use my arrow to pull it down, which is 15. I keep everything else the same. All right, I'm still inside my brackets, but now I just have my addition. So I'm going to use my arrow to point down to show what I'm solving. And when I add these two, I get 17 and 5 tenths. Okay, now there's nothing left inside my brackets. Now I can go outside my brackets and I can do 7 times 17 and 5 tenths. Remember, there's no multiplication symbol there. If there's no symbol, you know it's got to be multiplication. And I get 
122 and 5 tenths. So you can use order of operations within symbols, but the order is important because if you don't follow the order, your answers will not be correct. So good luck. Let's get to some complicated order of operation problems. Have fun.